friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sporting a scrunchie. So I'm really throwing it back to the old cheerleader days when I used to wear like a high ponytail, even further than this. My ponytail was probably up here and then I had a huge bow. That's kind of what this is giving me vibes of, a nice half up, half down. But I've been seeing my friend Kenzie and my sister Lindsay wearing this look, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. So I wanted to try the look today. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's a little prepubescent or <laughs> you don't dig it, or if you think I'm freaking cute. I'm feeling a little bit freaking cute, but also I'm a little unsure about it. You know when you wear something for like the first time and you're like, do I even look as good as I think I do? Anyways, today I have your monthly, I love this stuff with Megan Hughes. I'm Megan Hughes and I'm going to be talking about all the stuff I love today and this is going to be everything that I loved throughout the month of October. I'm uploading this a little bit into November instead of at the end of October, but that's fine, okay? Who cares? So as always, I'm going to start off with bathroom goodies. I have a lot today. Well, more than usual. Mostly just what I have a lot of is essential oils. I have three essential oils that I've been loving throughout this past month because in my last I Love This stuff, I asked for you guys to give me like fall scent ideas to diffuse and I'm diffusing all three of these mixed together back there right now. So the first one is clove bud. This is probably going to be your number one fall into winter fave. This just smells like cookies and fall and fun lovingness. It's a little bit spicy. It says it's also a powerful cleaner for the home, especially during seasonal illnesses. When diffused, it can help support a healthy immune system. And when diluted, you can massage it onto your jaw to help with toothache. <laughs> Didn't know that about it. And now we have cinnamon. So this one is just your everyday classic, you know? I've been mixing this with like cardamom and like citrusy scents, cause it is kind of sweeter, but also has that spicy aroma to it. But this is cinnamon cassia, what I have. And on the back it says, this is a close relative of true cinnamon. Cassia has a spicy scent. Diffuse cassia with clove bud and sweet orange to bring back holiday memories. I'm telling you my dudes, I did not even read that on the back of this, but I've been diffusing clove, cinnamon, and sweet orange since I've gotten all three of these. So this bottle just read my damn mind, okay? And so now our last one is our sweet orange. I don't normally like orange scents. I actually avoid orange scents and will go, if I'm going for a citrus, I'm gonna go for lemon. I'm honestly a little bit afraid of oranges, if I'm being honest with you. The peel, something about the smell, it just deters me. And I don't know really why, but that's followed me into my 20s for sure. Um, but this, I don't mind because I mix it with other things. I'll never just only diffuse orange. Um, I'm not that kind of gal. <laughs> but it says that when diffused, it can help with nervous tension, apprehension, or sadness. And also it's just kind of like a bright scent, you know, lifts the mood a little bit. So those are my three faves, my fave fall scents, if you will, along with my apple cider candle. And all of it together, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you come up to my room and you're like, shit. It smells like a beautiful fall day in here, artificially though. I will admit. And now I have a favorite face mask to talk about. And I actually made this bad boy. I have like a big thing of bentonite clay. And so I put bentonite clay in here and then lavender and rose, like dried lavender and rose and kind of like mashed them with my mortar and pestle and then mixed it all in together. And then now I just mix it with water and apply it to my face. Lavender and rose are great for a nice breakout. Also some clary sage, you could add like two drops to your hand and massage it together and add that into the mask if you were into that. Some people don't like to use essential oils on their face, I've learned from my comment section, but I don't mind. I wear lavender on my face every day because it's diluted with like one drop of lavender to six drops of oil. This is a completely different side note. But yeah, I made this, I'm going to put the recipe down below where I made this from because I got it from um, like an herbal bath and body book that I'm getting obsessed with. Honestly, I'll link the book down below too because I love that book and all of the recipes it has to offer. It's great. I talked about it in my like plant therapy video where I talked about a bunch of shampoos and just natural recipes that you could make for your own bath and body products. Um, so yeah, this is one of those that I made and I'm a big fan of it. I use it every time I have like a bath night, you know? Okay, now let's get into kitchen things, all right? I have a new favorite coffee. 
Oh my god, even smelling this is making me want some. This is the naturally flavored vanilla bean organic coffee. It's fair trade, it's ground, and it's a light roast from Archer Farms. Uh, my friends Annie and Reed came to visit us earlier in October and they brought this with them and they made me a cup of it when they were making coffee for themselves and I was like, holy shit, this is the best tasting coffee I have ever had in my life. I'm not even kidding about that. Any kind of vanilla, frappuccino, macchiato, caramel guy you've ever gotten, it tastes very sweet like that. Um, actually, only when I put a lot of sugar in it, so I'm not gonna say that it comes sweet. It just has a beautiful aroma. Uh, we love a nice fair trade girl, and this is just flirty and fun for fall. Um, I tried to recommend this to my sister, and if you're watching this, Lindsay, have you gotten it yet? It's at your local Target, and I had to order this shit online because on Amazon it was insanely priced, so I had to go onto the Target website and then it's one of like their pantry products so they wouldn't let me ship it to myself until i got 25 dollars worth of stuff in my basket so i had to get five of these but honestly i'm not complaining because now i just have a bulk amount of it and i go through these bags fucking fast i've been rapidly getting back into my coffee drinking in my last i love this stuff i was saying how i was getting back into my black tea drinking and sharing one of my favorite teas and now i'm back in my coffee and it's just like ugh, caffeine queen over here what can you do okay now i have a lot of recipes to talk to you about because when i took a social media break it was like a two week period and i had a lot of time on my hands so i was baking cooking just doing all of these things a lot and i made these molasses cookies and if you need a nice fall treat sorry i have a stamp on my hand from a fungus festival i went to today tangent i got these little mushroom earrings there they're really freaking cute anyways uh, if you're having like a thanksgiving or a friendsgiving or you need just like a nice fall cookie recipe these molasses cookies are the way to go they're amazing they taste almost like a ginger snap but without the snap you know like they're very soft and chewy and just wonderful i found the recipe on epicurious which is also one of my favorite apps oh my god you can just search like one ingredient like or just search molasses cookies or just molasses if you have this one ingredient and you're like what do i use this big thing of miso for and then it comes up with all of these recipes that like involve miso or molasses or whatever you're using um and just helps you that way so that's also a separate side note. Love that app. Found the recipe for those cookies on Epicurious and I'm gonna link that down below for you guys because I don't have the handheld cookies to show and munch on. Honestly, I wish I did. I made some other cookies the other night, these rainbow pudding sprinkle cookies. They're so soft and chewy and actually one of you told me to make pudding cookies in one of the comment sections of my I love this stuff videos and I'm gonna link that recipe down below as well because those shits are so addictive. I can put them out for Finley and he will eat like 15 in one sitting. <laughs> it is insane. They're like the perfect sugar cookie. They're just, ugh, incredible. What else have I been making that I wanted to tell you guys about? Oh, also on Epicurious, I made a nice butternut squash and sage soup. And I made a couple of alterations to the recipe to make it better and read the reviews of what other people were doing. And it was just, oh my God, it was divine. I'll put a photo on the screen of the soup. And so you can see for yourself how beautiful it was. It tasted just as beautiful as it looked, truly. And then also, if you're in the soup mood that I have been in recently, I also made a baked potato soup recently, but it was vegan. So a lot of baked potato soups are very like heavy on cream or heavy on butter and just like a lot of cheese and just all this stuff. My sister made one and I saw her share the recipe on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I need to make that. And she was like, yeah, just be careful. It has like a lot of dairy and she didn't want me to get my stomach upset. And so I found a vegan alternative to it that was lighter on my tummy and just great. So I'm gonna link that down below for you guys as well. Um, and I think that's all the recipes I've been making that I would like to share with you today. And yeah, you can find all of those down below. But now for other kind of kitchen stuff, but also like grocery shopping stuff. Um, this girl, shout out to her, honestly, don't remember her name right now and I'm so sorry but she has a company called Tropical Threads and she sent me these bags that she handmade just amazing for produce this is the cutest bag I've ever seen she just sent all of these to my PO box like are you kidding I already have reusable grocery bags but if you guys don't 
please get from her shop because she's just, she's an icon. She sent me these and she also sent me a little like bowl that she made, okay. And I've been putting my jewelry in here. When I take off my necklaces, I'll like put them in here. Um, but I really just wanted to share her shop because thank you so much. I love a sustainable and reusable product. And she was saying that her company, she was like inspired by, you know, the impact that I've been making or trying to make and spread the word about sustainability. And she's been trying to get her company off of its feet. So if you need some of those products and are interested in what I'm talking about, then go check her the frig out. Another thing that I've been super into recently is just warm clothing because it has been getting a lot chillier here in Oregon. And I have been into the old long johns. I am truly long john silver when I wear these. These are from Patagonia. They're just like a basic white. So I've been throwing them on under things. Finley gave these to me because he was like, I'm never gonna wear those. I have like five other pairs of long johns. And I said, I have none. Oh, but they're truly revolutionary if you live in a colder climate or a place that gets really, really cold in the winter. This isn't revolutionary for me to say, but I'm just saying it because if you've never thought about wearing long johns underneath your pants or your skirts or whatever you're wearing, get you a pair of these bad boys, okay? You need them in your life. They keep me so toasty. It's like, even if I go out not wearing a sweater, but I'm wearing my long johns, I am so warm. I did that on Halloween because I was wearing a tank top. I went as Dolores. I'll put a little photo of uh, our costumes over here um, from Westworld if you guys watch it. Oh, we love that show. But anyways, yeah, I went in a tank top and so when I was out on the town at night and it was like cold and rainy, I was still warm in my freaking long johns. So I love that. And also what I love is these little slippers my mom gave me last Christmas. I'll try to find the shop that she got these from. It was like recycled wool material, some Etsy shop or somewhere. I want to say she got them from, but they're just so nice. I wear them. They're like my house shoes, you know, and I just wear them around the house with a nice pair of thick socks underneath. And the combo of those together just keeps my feet nice and warm and toasty. And um, I'm really into being warm right now because <laughs> we are trying not to turn on our propane powered heat for the winter because we don't want to contribute to the emissions that that gives off so we're using like these little space heaters in every room and honestly they work really well they're amazing they're like the big oil space heaters from polonis also love those if you're looking for a good space heater rack <laughs> But yeah, we're trying to do that and just have fires as much as we can until we get our wood stove fixed. Oh my God, our wood stove doesn't even work. It works like a fireplace, okay? So we need to get one that will actually heat the whole house. And yeah, anyways, um, adult things. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to talk about my favorite apps of the moment, which is rare that I have app favorites, um, but I have a few of them today. First, Insight, the meditation app. I've been using, um, well, I've been trying to meditate more and more in this past month, and the Insight meditation app is just helping me so much, man. They have like a little timer, so you can set like a little bell at the beginning of your meditation, and it'll time you, and then it'll sound a little bell at the end of it, and that's just what I've been using a lot of. They also have a lot of guided meditations on that app, and I've been doing a few of those. Um, I don't have any favorites right now to recommend you guys guided-wise, but, um, um, I think the timer is just great for getting back into it and even doing like a five or 10 minute meditation a day. Anything helps for your mindset and mind space in general, kids. Okay, um, now I also have, you know, a mind expanding app to talk about. This I actually talked about in my video on like why I took a social media break because I was still using this app when I was off of other social medias because it's like a book app. Goodreads, you can follow me on there at Maggie Hugh. And that's where I track my reading and I keep track of books that I want to read and update my progress on what I'm currently reading and leave reviews and all that kind of stuff. And it's just great. I love it so much. I love being able to track what I'm doing and see all of the books that I've read and like keep them in my head, you know, so I don't forget about them and forget how many books I've read this year because it's been iconic. It's been an iconic reading year for me, truly. I, I can say that confidently because I am so proud of myself <laughs> because I used to just not read at all. So um, reading like 17 books in one year, shit. That's an iconic move for me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, speaking of books, I also have another app slash website truly to talk about 
thrift books. So good, okay? It's just a website of used books and some of them that I've been getting are like $15 on Amazon and then they're like $3 on thrift books. And they come in fine condition. They're good, moderately used. And it's like a used book, who really cares? I mean, I don't personally care. Sometimes I like to get like a brand new spank and fresh book. Don't get me wrong. But if you're into just getting used books and saving some sweet cash, while trying to expand your mind, I would recommend thrift books as well. I've been loving it. Also, if you wanna follow our book review account on Instagram, I will put it right here uh, because we track our reading and leave reviews on stuff that we read on there as well. Finley and I both. Okay, now for everything that I've been watching this month. I've been honestly watching a lot of stuff. First off, because we are on this platform of the old YouTube, you guys should go and watch Haley Blay. I sincerely apologize for in the past calling her Haley Blaise when I would talk about her music or whatever. Her last name is B-L-A-I-S, but it's pronounced Blay. So I like, psh, right over the head, who knew, not me, uh, until recently. So yeah, Haley, if you see this, I'm very sorry about that, but love the vlogs, dude. She is so fucking funny. She really like commits to the bit. She'll do these little funny skits within a vlog and then just stay so stuck to what she's doing that like she's not even laughing at herself and you're just sitting there crying. Like how can you not break character at all, you know? And it's just amazing. She's just the best and also a wonderful singer and I just, I love her. Okay, now for shows I've been watching. High Maintenance. I have talked about this show before and if I haven't, just pff, what have I been doing? I mean, I need to share this show with you guys because it could very well be the most relatable, relevant, and funny show I've ever watched. I'm not even kidding when I say that, okay? But basically it's about a weed dealer in NYC, baby, and he like rides his bike around the city and then all of the episodes, it started off as a web series. So the first episodes that you can watch, it's on HBO. Um, the first episodes that you can watch are all like, 10 minutes at most and then it got picked up to be turned into like 30 minute episodes and like a whole series so it has two seasons of the 30 minute episodes and then one of the web series and all of the characters that are touched on oh, i just love them so much my favorite couple is like the cross-dressing guy whose wife is in like high fashion and they have a son together and they're just freaking cute that's my personal fave couple i have a lot of favorites though and it's just a great show so well done i think that ben sinclair who directs and stars in the show is amazing and just oh we love it we love that show so much so i needed to remind you guys to definitely go and check it out okay it's so funny too oh just love it okay i'm gonna stop raving about that Big Little Lies, folks. I know that I'm late to the Big Little Lies train, but I'm very happy that I watched it before season two comes out. I think it's coming out sometime next year. Who really knows? But they got Meryl Streep, and I'm so here for it. It is such a powerful cast of women, and it's just, oh, it's such an amazing show. It's so suspenseful and so wonderfully shot, and just all of the good things. It's kind of like a mystery show while also being like a little bit dramatic, and also following along these like rich moms of Monterey, California, and you're like kind of there for the drama and then you're kind of there for like cute kids and mystery solving and just all this stuff. It, it has so much, so much to offer. And I just love the suspense. And Zoe Kravitz is just my bae. I love to watch anything that she's in, okay? So definitely go and check that out if you haven't seen it. It's on HBO as well, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, my sister was recommending me to watch that for a very long time and I finally did, so. There you go, Linz. Loved it. Um, and then now for movies that I've been watching because there's been a lot of them this month. Um, specifically, Halloween movies. I know the time has passed for Halloween, but if you're still in a spooky mood, still holding on hard to Halloween, um, Coraline had never seen it. The Nightmare Before Christmas had never seen it either. We love a good animated flick. Henry Selleck, the director and like who brought those films to life, is so talented and I was just so like, yes, I fucking loved those movies. So I will be watching those probably for years to come when Halloween rolls around because I just, I loved them so much. And I like completely understand the hype now. I don't know how I hadn't seen them until I was 21. Like, am I okay? Anyways, um, yeah, I watched both of those. And then also Juno, oh, Juno, what a great film that I rewatched this month. Also Little Miss Sunshine. 
those are just iconic films, truly, and some of my favorite movies that I've probably ever seen. So um, if you've never seen those movies, please go and watch them because they deserved a rewatch from me this past month and I'm just still so in love with them as I originally was. Oh, yeah. Okay, now as for new music that I've been listening to, um, Kate, wonderful artist, K-A-I-I-T. I've been talking about her on my podcast, Souls at Sundown, which you guys should listen to, okay? There's a new episode that just came out yesterday. Anyways, um, she's great, like a nice R&B, like a mixture of Lauren Hill, a little bit of like Erica Badu, also like a little bit of SZA. She's got a lot of like influences in there, but really is just so amazingly herself and I'm so here for her, okay? She's like a Melbourne based artist. She's fucking iconic and super underrated and you guys should go and listen to her, okay? My favorite songs by her are Duffman and OG Love Kush part two. Great freaking tune. Okay, now let's talk about Trench by the old T.O.P. I know I got a lot of 21 Pilot stands watching me, and honestly, I too am a stand, so I totally understand. I have been with them for a long time. I've seen them live for um, their last tour before they took that horrendous break. Ugh, but I'm so happy they're back. Trench is a great album. Honestly, I feel like anybody that I've spoken to has been um, kind of just like really moderate about it, they're like, eh, it's okay. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Chlorine, oh, I love that song so much. Leave the City, that is like the story of my life in LA, okay? Um, those songs are definitely like two of my faves. Also, Nico and the Niners, like that song when it first came out as a single, I just fell in love with it. Um, what else? Neon Gravestones, Smithereens, My Blood, Morph jumpsuit. I pretty much love all of them. Pet Cheetah. I mean, seriously, there's so many of my faves that I love on that album. And when people are telling me like, oh, it just wasn't that good or it wasn't what I thought. I'm like, are you kidding? I just don't understand. So leave me your opinion of the new 21 Pilots album down below. Because yeah, I get it. They change with every album and sometimes you don't always love an artist's new sound. I've had that happen to me with a lot of people, but I feel like they evolve so well. Like they keep the same thing that made them 21 Pilots, that kind of weird, over the top, amazing energy that they bring. And the album is so well produced. I love so many of the songs and the messages behind so many of the songs, Neon Gravestones. Oh, magnifique. Uh, just so many of them, you know? And yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And that's been kind of like my two favorite projects I've been listening to. And now for the last portion of this I Love This Stuff, I'm going to start doing this new thing on this series where I share with you some of my favorite words that I've learned. <laughs> We're gonna have like a vocabulary portion from now on because I've been reading this fantasy series. I'm not going to talk about it yet on here because I'm on the very last book and I wanna make sure that it ends well before I talk about it. But it's been teaching me all of these amazing new words, my dudes. So I'm gonna share with you three of my favorites that I think are kind of fun new words to learn, okay? Venerable, it means well-respected. Sardonic, it means cynical and calamitous means catastrophic. So yeah, I just thought that was a nice fun thing to add into these videos because I love good fun words. Also leave down below any of your fave words you've ever learned that are kind of like nice vocabulary to learn. I love a good big word, you know? As long as you define it, I wanna know how to use it. <laughs> all right, and this all being said, I am finally done with today's I Love This Stuff. I know it was very long, maybe longer than normal. So if you made it this far, comment clove down below because I've been loving that scent, man. Um, but yeah, all of the stuff that I talked about today will be linked in the description for you guys to go get if you want to. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. And until that next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. Baby, how you got